We're David and Angie, and welcome to Llama, Llama Tell You something. something, the show where one of us becomes a llama, and we tell you something. Today is Mardi Gras, also known as Fat Tuesday. Now this particular Fat Tuesday happens to be the day after Discount Chocolate Day. But Dave decided that instead <laughs> of buying all of the discount chocolate we can hoard, we will... Figure out the age-old question, is the expensive chocolate really worth it? In front of us here, we have five different pieces of chocolate ranging from $1 to $55 a bar. And let's give it to Angie here to figure out which one's which. And this isn't just an excuse to write chocolate off on our taxes. It's, it's also, also an excuse, an excuse to, write to write chocolate, chocolate off, off on, on our taxes. taxes. All right, Angie, without further ado, become the llama. Angie, can you see anything? I cannot see anything Angie, except for me. that ring. Light. Look at me. Uh -huh. Okay, good. She can't see me. All right. So I'm going to hand Angie here a piece of each of these chocolates, followed by some water to cleanse their palate. All right. Starting with chocolate number one. All right. Reach up in your hand there. There you go. Okay. First opinions. This tastes um, very, very deep cocoa, like maybe like a, a dark chocolate. Um, yeah, very, uh, it, it tastes fancy. <laughs> Not very sweet. Very sweet, okay. All right, now we're gonna move on to chocolate number two. Water. The water, yeah. We're like cleansing the palate. Number two. There we go. Open your hand. I'm surprised at how much they feel the same, though. <laughs> Any impressions on this one? This one is more milky. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit sweeter. Okay. Um, Strange aftertaste. Ooh, strange aftertaste. All right, all right. All right. Take that back then. Um, Maybe a little familiar. Hmm. We'll see. All right. Chocolate number three. Uh, water. Oh, water. I'm sorry. It's our first time doing this, guys. We're gonna get the bugs worked out eventually. Okay, but if you hand me a bug, I am not going to get it. Unless our... that's the bit. <laughs> I'll do it. Commit to the bit. Mmm. Yes. Yes? This is chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this is chocolate, they say. Tell me more about that chocolate. Mm, sweet, sweet, sweetness. Just sweet sweetness. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's some water after your sweet, sweet sweetness. Alright. And uh, number four. That's a different consistency than the rest of them. Mm. Um, also a darker tasting, like more cocoa. Okay. Um, I would say definitely a, a fancier chocolate. A fancier chocolate, you say. Yeah. All right. Well, I know. <laughs> well, we know that we're going to give you some water, because I didn't forget this time. This one is sweet and crunchy. Um, yeah. This one's good. It's good? Yeah. Alright. Um, Any other notes about it? Any other notes? Um, uh, it also had that kind of strange aftertaste. Strange aftertaste, okay. The strange aftertaste might be just <coughs> like good things, I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, I have here the dollar values of these chocolates. Oh man. Alright. And now I have to. You have to decide uh, which, one's which one's which. Do you want to start at the top or the bottom? Um. Uh, 
uh, was the one I just had the 50. I'm going to go 55 there. 55 at the end? Yeah. Okay. I'll put that on number five. All right. Um, God, what are my other options? What's the next? The next, next one down is $18. $18. $18, 8, 3, and 1. I'm going to go to the, the, the second to last one mm. that I just tasted. Yeah. Uh, is going to be the. Uh, let's go to the first one with the, the, with the $18. First one with the $18. Okay. 8, 3, and 1. For chocolates 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> okay. Um, do you need a refresher? I do. <laughs> Which I one do. would you like to be refreshed on? Uh, so I think 3 is my 1. Three is your Three, one? The okay. Three is my one. Okay. Because it tasted the best to me. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, so we um, have we have two and four. Which one would you like a refresher on? Um was it I, I feel like I feel like Both of them are the ones you said had a weird aftertaste. Oh man, of course they are. Uh then let's just go that four is my eight dollar okay. and two is my <clears throat> Your three dollar, right. yeah. All right, so I might be wrong about all of these. <laughs> I'm still going three is the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do know how many you've gotten right so far. Oh, um, uh, so it means I got something you, right, yeah. And now I have a, a descriptions here of each Ooh. of these, and I'm gonna see if you can match up the description. So if your your tongue remembered the palette here. Oh man. All right. All right. Some of these have longer descriptions than others. That would not necessarily mean that they were the more expensive ones. Some companies just like to talk more about their product than other ones. All right. So the first description says, uh, our chocolate is made with local farm fresh milk. This chocolate bar makes life delicious. Makes life delicious. Yeah. So okay. where do you want to put that? Um, It's gotta be one of the ones that tasted milky. Um, I think that was it. Would be either then uh, two, three, or five. Two, three, or five. Uh, that's a refresher of two. A refresher of two. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Where is your refresher of two? Let's go there. Alright. So, so the next one here. Um, this bar marries the purity and smoothness of the chocolate with the raw peel of the beans. Deliciously bitter cocoa nibs. Oh, bitter. So it'll either be, I think four was bitter and one was bitter. Right? Yeah. yeah. So you said they were from the the really dark. Dark bitter. ones. Um, God, I don't remember which one's bitter. <laughs> My cake. <laughs> Bitterer. Let's see, uh, let's go with one. One? All right. Let's go with one for that pure bean there. All right. All right. <clears throat> Next one, we have a delicious vegan-friendly chocolate bar made with coconut milk, vanilla, and hazelnut extract. Four, you say? Okay. Put that there. And then let's see here. We have rich milk chocolate it is combined with salted toffee pieces for a satisfying crunch and a sublimely smooth finish. Oh, uh, well, maybe five because it was maybe, crunchy. Maybe five. Okay. I'll go five. Okay. Then finally we have um, this company's softest and most subtle expression of Ecuadorian dark chocolate is aged for three years in a single malt whiskey cask and at the famed Lufroig distillery in Isle, one of the most iconic whiskeys in the world. So I'm clearly going with my only choice left, three. <laughs> yeah. Definitely right on that one. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we have the prices. We have the descriptions. Um, and you can take off your blindfold, your llama powers, 
have been chosen. All right. All right. So, of the prices here, you got two correct. Did I? You got two correct. Any guesses on which two you got correct? That is correct. In front of Angie here, we have Hershey's chocolate. You can't remember it. <laughs> Number two is Hershey's chocolate. Um, <laughs> Hershey's chocolate was not made in whiskey, though. What? <laughs> Weird. So there's no whiskey in the chocolate here. <laughs> so... For whiskey. For Hershey's here. Um, what do you think your second correct answer was? Um, was it the most expensive? It was not. Okay. I'm just wrapping my brain around <laughs> the fact that I just ingested $55 chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> um, this one? This one here? Yes. That is also incorrect. Well, it's one of these two. That's also correct. <laughs> it was the first one here. Oh. This is our $18 chocolate here. And uh, here, I'm going to describe it for you guys. So, because um, it uh, was actually, you also got the description right. I did. You got a double correct one here. Yes. In front of us, we have a uh, claw. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I forgot some of it. Eclat Chocolate. Uh, Eclat Chocolate's premier chocolate bar is handmade, selected Peruvian pure Nicotino beans. Um, Christopher Curtin selects the top 5% of one of the rarest harvests of the most prized cocoa crops in the world. The berry marries the purity and smoothness of the chocolate with the raw peel of the beans, deliciously bitter cocoa nibs. And this chocolate is located in West Chester, Pennsylvania. So they're actually pretty close to Hershey as well. Ah. And I just found them randomly. I didn't choose Pennsylvania just because I'm from there. But they're both from Pennsylvania. $18 for this bar of chocolate. Wow. $1 for here. Like I said, you did get the description right. Okay. All right. So that means the other three okay. were incorrect. Right. So one of these that you labeled $8 or $3 is in fact... $55 bar of chocolate. Let's go with the $55 bar of chocolate over there first. Okay. You did get the description right. Okay. So cool. you got that crunchiness. So let's move that down here. Move these little guys here. All right. Those happen to be the signature salted caramel milk chocolate of Godiva. Oh, they're pretty good. <laughs> right. Ranging it at $3. I was second favorite. <laughs> Three dollars for them. You did like you said, got the description right there. Um, they're called their signature milk chocolate caramel mini bars. The ultimate daily indulgence for savoring, savory, savoring yourself. I don't know, apparently you're savoring yourself. Oh, uh, or sharing with a friend. Rich chocolates combined with the salted toffee pieces for a satisfying crunch and sublimely mm -hmm. uh, smooth finish. All right, we have two chocolate bars left here. Um, one is from uh, from Florida here. We got a local one in on this. And one is from uh, Ireland. <laughs> wow. Um, so, we're here and there. Um, which one do we think it is? The one that you labeled $3? Or the one you labeled $8? I'm actually going to tell you what it is. Because this should be over here. And... <laughs> Uh, on this one that you labeled three dollars and the eight dollar one was not in fact so number four is our fifty five dollar wow. chocolate oddly enough the descriptions that we got here were uh <laughs> only the descriptions you got right over this one and that one these three were all mixed up the no one right here is the local one from naples is our vegan friendly chocolate okay the whisk the, the hershey is our front, local farm fresh milk and then the whiskey and the chocolate, yeah. and the, as in our fifty-five dollar one. I'll leave our, read our local guy here. Is that the one that I said ew to? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Here's our local one. It's called Norman Love Confections, a delicious vegan-friendly chocolate made with coconut milk, vanilla, and hazelnut extract. Would you try the vegan one, friendly one again? But yeah, this one was pretty good. I actually haven't tried any of these chocolates yet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think this is the one I tried twice. <laughs> it was. No, three times. <laughs> hmm. Which leads number four here. <clears throat> Is our $55 chocolate bar. Wow. <coughs> I need that drink now. 
Um, so that chocolate bar was about that big. Let me get the camera here. About that big. And the center actually had that much taken out of it to have a, a, a single uh, nut. Something fancy. Yeah, something fancy. I actually, uh, before we show this, and I'm going to have it as a bonus for you guys, uh, especially on the Patreon first, is I took pictures of all the wrappings of each of these chocolates to show you how fancy they look on the outside oh, before right. we just saw how they looked on the inside here. I've not seen any of these yeah. yet. <laughs> so this is our $55 chocolate. I have not had a try of it yet. Uh, here, oh, <laughs> cheers. 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 your opinion of $55 chocolate? It has like no taste. Yeah. It is like absent of taste almost. It's it, has some act, it has some aftertaste. I definitely don't taste any whiskey in it. Uh, I'm a big fan of whiskey. Is it dark chocolate? Um, it's gotta be dark chocolate. Here, I'll read the description here. Yeah. Actually, this one had a whole bunch of things going on with it. It is dark chocolate, by the way. Okay. But it also... It has a, uh, just like wine, it has a nose, a palate, and a finish that they leave wow. on their website here. This is Toak Chocolate, T-O apostrophe A-K. And this is their, uh, Isle, 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 I don't know if that's pronounced right, um, Isle Whiskey Cast Aged Chocolate. The nose of the chocolate, so how it's supposed to smell, smell is lightly peated sea air with soft flowers. You getting some soft flowers in there? <laughs> uh, I'm smelling... Pure cocoa powder, that's it. All right, the, the palate, how it tastes. Caramelized fruit, honey, a touch of peat smoke, and savory seagrass. Did you get any of that in there? Pure cocoa powder. <laughs> it's like if you took a spoonful of cocoa powder <laughs> and then put it in your mouth and tried to swallow, yes. <laughs> and the finish is smooth and seductively, or I'm sorry, the finish of it is smooth and seductively unorthodox. Funny enough, that's how my finish is too. <laughs> but did you did you get seductively unorthodox? It's like if you took a spoonful <laughs> of cocoa powder and stuck it in your mouth and tried to swallow. <laughs> so, uh, going through the chocolates here, which one was your favorite? You I said? mean, like this is Hershey's my favorite. I also like these two. These two were good. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste them now that I, I already knew what these all were because one yeah. of us had to buy them. Uh, and I'm going to taste them now. I'll give you my opinion as well. I'll start over here. I think I'm going to like this one the best, honestly. Yeah. That one was good. That was good. Yeah. That's our Godiva. How much was that? The $3 one? Uh, yeah. So what's the price is the right over here? My price. Mine were like, I like the $1. The $3 was also good. And the $8 oh. was good. The other two, that's <laughs> Let's get our prices all in the right spot here. There we go, folks. Right. Um, How are you liking like a diamond? No, I like it. I knew I was going to, too. Is it salted caramel or just caramel? Salted. Okay. All right. Let me try this um, pure bean marriage. I like your uh, or. Order here that is not an order. <laughs> <laughs> My order here is not an order? Yeah. I already tasted that one. Mm -hmm. I tasted that one already. Right? 18 bucks? Yeah. It has, yeah, again, it's one of the, like, like that one has such a much lighter taste, way less in your face taste. This one? No, like this one. This one. Oh. Well, way less in your face taste. Like, like I said, that one like barely had a taste in me. Like, this one? Yeah. Would you want to get? Uh, yeah, so let me taste that. Oh, okay. I mean, like, it's definitely dark chocolate, whereas yeah. these ones are milk chocolate. Bah! Which one is like? <laughs> these two are. <laughs> ah. And I don't dislike dark chocolate. No, you like dark chocolate more than milk chocolate, right? Yeah, but like. Mm, not these guys. Alright. <laughs> So, I think we did solve the age-old question, was the money worth it? No. Yeah. Not at all. Either that or we're just real cheap dates. <laughs> we are if anybody out there has chocolate that they feel like is absolutely worth $55, feel free to send it to us. We will taste it. Yeah, we'll definitely. We'll get breaks for a full report and everything. <laughs> um, but that, I think, was our first episode of Let Me Tell You Something. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> See you guys. 
Hi, Dave and Angie here, and thanks for watching our first edition of Let Me Tell, tell you, you Something. Thing. Now we just ate a whole bunch of chocolate for, for science. science. Now they range from $1 to $55 in price. And we discovered that taste doesn't always relate to price. So, down in the comments below, I want you to tell us another food where the cheaper stuff is always better. <laughs> and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks! Bye.